就开始做了开始做了对做完跟几条的拿帮你肯定只会有要肯定要摸高还是别个补偿还是别个就说是实话呀你不是不过他不是我因为我这两天在我的跑我们现在我已经我已经征服了把他们到这里加加的征服是把
And this Luo uh, tells the Deutschwelle, you know, let me just read the question and the answer that he gives. Do you trust the official numbers of infections and deaths? And uh, Luo answers the question, I think there are many more infections and deaths from coronavirus than have uh, been officially reported. When preliminary tests determine that a patient has a lung sickness, the nucleic acid test, or NAT, which detects viruses, cannot always be carried out because the waiting list is too long. The patient is therefore not diagnosed. Furthermore, if someone dies from the lung sickness and has not taken the NAT test, the fatality is not statistically registered as having been caused by the coronavirus. So, what is the current risk of infection in Wuhan? Patients showing symptoms often have to wait for hours before they receive treatment. They are prescribed medicine and sent home to self-isolate. The waiting rooms are full of people coughing. You know, healthy people who have to wait in these conditions, they risk infection. It takes a long time to get to another hospital. If someone doesn't own a car, they depend on taxis, but only two taxis are officially assigned to each housing block. Only a few volunteers take people to the hospital. The emergency number 120 is totally overwhelmed and no longer works. People have been forced to walk to the hospital. Now that story from uh, Jesse uh, Luo, that uh, pretty much jives with what the lady doctor said in that first video clip we saw. He says the doctors don't want to keep people that they can't admit sitting in the waiting rooms simply because they're full of sick people and they risk infecting them if they're not if they're not already sick. They treat them with some medicine and they send them home. They can't be given a nucleic acid test, he abbreviates that as the NAT. The test that detects the virus isn't given, and as a result, that person isn't counted as a case of coronavirus. If they die, they are on a coronavirus death as far as the government of China is concerned. There's no autopsy, because under the order of the Chinese government, now bodies who uh, die of suspected infectious disease, they're cremated as fast as possible. So... The basic upshot is this, the only coronavirus deaths being counted are people who die in the hospitals, basically. You drop dead in the street or you drop dead at home, you don't go into the official release statistics. Trust China, right? What else did the lady doctor say that uh, was of interest in that video clip? She noted that even at her small clinic, she's seeing one or two deaths every day, at the minimum. She does not believe the government statistics about the dead, as she's aware that there are far more deaths every day at the uh, larger hospitals in Wuhan, as well as her knowledge that outpatient deaths are simply not counted as coronavirus deaths. She, in fact, laments that she's had, you know, six or seven deaths those past two days at her clinic. We don't know what day this video was taken. And that due to the funeral home being so busy, the corpses are piling up on her, you know, in her little facility. She claims she's been forced to convert her emergency ward area into a makeshift morgue and fears that the decomposing corpses will be breeding grounds for more virus. She says only one funeral home in Wuhan is permitted to handle patients dead of the pneumonia, which she identifies as Hankow Funeral Home. Now, I don't know if this video which was posted is from the crematorium in Wuhan, if it's the one she's talking about, but if so, it's easy to see why they are so slow in picking up the bodies at her little clinic. It would appear that business is booming for the infectious uh, dead cremation business in Wuhan. Apologies for the video, it's only uh, a few seconds long, but unless I missed the count, there appear to be 12 bodies there. Hard to be sure with the last couple being out of focus, so it could be give or take uh, a corpse there. But with about a dozen corpses lined up in that hallway, note, they have the yellow body bag which indicates the corpses believed to have died of an infectious disease. Yeah, you know, things are happening at the crematory in Wuhan. Look, people, you can't trust China. They lied publicly and loudly about this disease. Remember just about two weeks ago, the director of Wuhan's Disease Control and Prevention Center you know, stated on January 19th that the new coronavirus is not highly contagious and that the risk of person-to-person -person transmission is quote quite low. Now 
，随着我们各项防控措施实施和落实，疫情可防可控。Well, even by his own organization's bullcrap numbers, his province is seeing about 2,000 new confirmed cases a day, and they only get enough nucleic acid test kits to run about 2,000 tests a day. So, I'd say exceeding your supply of test kits every day、uh, in new confirmed cases is concrete evidence of sustained person-to-person -person transmission not being the, you know, quite low. They wouldn't be finishing construction on two new coronavirus hospitals in Wuhan this week. And converting a stadium and a convention center in Wuhan into thousand-plus bed facilities, if the risk of infection was quite low,、now、people here who cite a mortality rate for a 2019 novel coronavirus, they're being inaccurate. I've seen people estimate, oh, it's only a two or three percent、uh, mortality rate. No one knows the mortality rate of the disease. No one has enough data because China isn't recording it. Our own CDC, believe it, believe it or not, they've been quite candid on this point. They've said openly, in press conferences, they do not know enough about it to determine a mortality rate for this disease. No one knows the real number of cases, and no one knows the real number of people who've caught the disease, who've died from it, what conditions are are involved, you know, what their treatments were. There aren't even enough cases in countries outside of China to draw conclusions from yet. Because the sample size just isn't large enough to, in countries with more reliable reporting, right now I believe many people are operating under a false sense of security, especially if they're doing so based on figures presented to them by the People's Republic of China, which are demonstrably false. So, just hold on to your hats, people, because what I'm about to tell you, it's an even scarier proposition. Most people seem to be under the belief. That once you've contracted 2019 novel coronavirus and you've basically beat the infection, that you are then forever immune to the virus. Now, according to Dr. Zhang Qingyang, the、uh, director of pneumonia prevention and treatment at the、uh, China-Japan Friendship Hospital, he says even people who have recovered may not be immune to the virus. "Quote: For those patients who have been cured." There is a likelihood of a relapse," he said in a briefing on、uh, was on Friday. The antibody will be generated, however, in certain individuals, the antibody cannot last long. You see, according to Dr. Ross, a, a professor of global health and epidemiology at George Mason University, tells the,、uh, the 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 Business Insider that doctors and virologists don't yet know enough about the Wuhan coronavirus to say whether humans develop immunity. After they've contracted the illness, this thing's only been out for a month or two that that most people know about. Doctor Zant says they aren't sure that the antibodies that patients develop are strong or long-lasting enough to keep people from relapsing and contracting the disease, the disease again. So, I mean, not to mention the fact that viruses they can mutate quickly, so that even if immune, that immunity may not apply to、uh, another strain. There's just far too many unknowns at this point. To draw any conclusions about what this disease is capable of doing.